babies. Welcome to week number three of the squat series. First off, let me apologize for my hair. Just got done with squat session number three of the week. Yes, I said three. I have been squatting three times a week now. That is a new development in this week. Also, before we go any further, I do want to, I, I would love to direct you to this video that I shot with Quest Nutrition that I'm really, 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 really proud of and really happy with how it turned out. And I would just love to share it with you guys. So if you guys could go, it'll be the first link down in the description. It's it's an interview that I did with Tom. He is the CEO of Quest and we just talk about my story and it's just a really good, if, if you're ever wondering about my story about how I came to be where I am, that's an awesome video for you to watch. So I hope you guys check out this, this video and enjoy all the squats you're about to see right now. Alright you guys, we are back in the gym. So you just saw me doing the warm up with the goblet squats. I've been doing that before every single workout. So this is my first squat session of the week. And I was still kind of playing around with if I wanted to do low bar, if I wanted to do high bar. I wasn't really, really sure yet. Um, but I, I kind of decided during this workout that I felt a lot better and I was definitely getting a lot better depth. Um, with high bar so it's actually been working out really well I know a lot of people think that low bar is better think high bar is better but as as far as how I felt during the squats uh, the high bar felt just a lot better and I felt like it moved a lot better um, especially during this workout so as you can tell I'm just doing I think it was about five sets with 205 pounds just doing three reps each just to get get a better feel Mike wants me to be able to do um, get used to doing low rep ranges I'm so used to doing like really high elite 10 or more like that's that's what I'm used to so doing these lower rep ranges is definitely something that I'm, get, I'm getting used to and it's definitely not something that I'm um, super I don't want to say I'm not comfortable with it but it's something that I'm still um, learning I guess you could say uh, less uh, hopefully it's gonna get me in gear for when I'm doing a lot higher weight because uh, you obviously can't do 10 <laughs> 10 reps of 405 pounds or however much that you end up doing and then I ended up doing um, three sets of just pause reps 185 pounds and th this is th these feel really good I feel like these do help me get used to getting depth and, and sitting in the whole hole and just getting used to being in that position so that pretty much wrapped up day number one of squats and then I will see you guys at day number two All right, so day number two. First of all, I, I apologize uh, a lot about the, the camera angle. It was terrible. I know it's terrible, and it looks just as bad as these squats do. <laughs> so this was with with flat shoes, just trying it out. I I actually ended up doing 135 with flat sh shoes um, today, and it felt a lot better. I was able to get that film for you guys too. And then this is just all we did was uh, just a few sets of pause. Cause I wasn't even hitting legs today. I did hit, hit chest this day, but I wanted to be able to squat a little bit, so we just did three sets of 185 for a couple pauses, and that was it for that day. All right, and here we are at day number three. This is that 135 pounds that I did with flat shoes. I was really stoked with how these looked and how these felt. I was not expecting them to, I thought it was just gonna be terrible. I was just doing it to show you guys where my progress is. And I was pleasantly surprised. Like I said, they're not perfect, I understand that. But they're definitely a lot better than, than what the squats looked like in, in week one. So I also did, uh, this is just me warming up a little bit. This is uh, me warming up with 135 pounds with the Olympic shoes on and the knee sleeves on. Um, just to get a feel for it because I ended up doing uh, five sets of 225 pounds. Which I haven't hit 225 in a while. So it felt, it felt really nice to be able to do um, 225 pounds. We only did it for, I did five sets of just two reps, so nothing super insane, um, but we're going to start getting up in weight, and I'm really, really excited. I'm, I'm pretty excited about how the form's going, as far as not arching my back too much, as far as keeping my core tight, and then one thing I've really been working on is when I get out of the hole, trying to explode out of the hole and not just be sluggish when I'm in the hole, just really trying 
trying to explode and then keep my core tight at during the whole movement because that's one thing that I, I would struggle with is I would keep my my core not super tight the whole time and it would show by as far as my, my lower back would arch a little bit too much and you can really tell so after that I just moved on to some pause reps with 195 pounds and these were these I was surprised I was like wow 195 didn't feel like as bad as I thought it was gonna be um, so that wraps up the squats and then I also have a little com comparison for you guys just to show you where I started from week one and where I am now so I'm really, really excited. I, I think they look just so much better. So I, I feel like, I, I mean, it's been something I've been working really hard on as far as mobility and everything. So go ahead and check this out and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so a couple things that you're gonna notice after those squats, I do wanna mention that I was Blessed enough to get hooked up with these uh, slingshot knee sleeves from Silent Mike. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I would recommend them. I've never used any other knee sleeves, so I don't really know how they compare. But from what I've talked to people that have used both of them, they're very similar to the, like, the Ray-Ban knee sleeves. So if you are thinking about getting knee sleeves, I mean, they are pretty cool. Thank you again to Mike for getting those for me. Um, as far as how I feel this week, I feel like everything is going really, really well. I was really happy with how those um, sets with 225 went. Really happy with the form, really happy with how it's all going. Um, next week, Mike said that he wants me to go and do um, one session and just do it like a five by five and then we're gonna do, uh, try and max out and uh, see where I am as far as squats because he's actually been, um, gracious enough to offer to write me like a six week program so I can really start progressing and that's going to be exciting. So I'm really excited about progressing in squats and getting stronger in these movements because it's something that I've been honestly pretty embarrassed about is my strength in, in the, um, the, the main movements as far as like powerlifting goes. Not saying that I'm a powerlifter or not saying that I'll be will become one. I mean, you never know. You never know in the future. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I really hope it helps some of you guys out. I hope anyone that's been struggling with squats like I have been, maybe these videos are being helpful at all. Um, that's what it, that's why I made it. I, I made it to, to keep myself accountable, obviously, but to help people. That's what I want to do is to help people. So if these videos have helped you out, I am very happy about that. So thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up where I am. Uh.